Today, I'm going to take a look at some of the WIP mods to look forward to in 2023, which are still in development but are likely to hit Skyrim once they're released. It may be a bit subjective, but I tried to select as many mods as possible that you will like, so I would really appreciate it if you could watch it until the end. So let's begin. First introduce mod as Skyrim Upscaler. Skyrim Upscaler mod as SKSE plugin to use DLSS, FSR2, SES, DLAA in Skyrim. Of course Skyrim Upscaler has already been uploaded to Tesnexus. However, since it is not yet compatible with ENB, the reality is that most Skyrim players who use ENB still choose ENB rather than Skyrim Upscaler. By the way, if Skyrim Upscaler becomes available with ENB, it's very likely to become your must-have mod. In particular, the DLSS feature of Skyrim Upscaler is one of the elements that Skyrim players want because there are many frame improvements. So if Skyrim Upscaler's DLSS goes along with ENB, it's likely to explode in popularity. Skyrim Upscaler deserves attention in 2023. The second mod to introduce is the Dynamic Collision Adjustment mod. Dynamic Collision Adjustment is simply a mod that allows you to vary the collision of all actors in the world of Skyrim. Previously, there was only one type of collision for Skyrim actors. Even though the size of the collision should be reduced when the actor just sneaks or lies down, this is not reflected at all in the actual Skyrim. Therefore, there must have been a case where you didn't feel the need to sneak because you still couldn't pass through the narrow passage even though you sneaked the character. You may not have experienced content that can solve the obstacles that exist in the game by varying the character's behavior. However, since Dynamic Collision Adjustment is a mod that changes these static collisions in various ways, I think it is highly likely to hit in 2023. In particular, since other mods that utilize the function of dynamic collision adjustment are also likely to be developed, this mod actually includes a framework personality as well. For example, you can pass through a narrow space through a creature follower with a small collision, a dungeon that the character must use a special action method to pass through, or a mod that allows you to crawl between the legs of a giant dragon or mammoth. In any case, since it is a mod that started developing from 2022, it is highly likely to be released in 2023, but it is a mod with very great features, so it is worth paying attention to. The third mod to introduce is Valor. Formerly called Valgrind, this Valor mod adds perilous attacks passive dodge, and attack commitment capabilities to Skyrim's NPCs. Valor's creator, D. Tri, is the creator of Valhalla Combat, Elden Counter, Stop on Slash, and many other mods, and no matter which creator he is, he's probably one of the creators who has suffered from numerous bugs in his mods. Valor also had some bugs when I applied it, but the reason I pay attention to this Valor is because of its perilous attack function. Because, in fact, I couldn't admit the fact that when I block in Skyrim, all melee attacks are 100% guarded. Imagine an enemy striking you down with a massive weapon in a real battle. Does the fact that you can defend that massive weapon increase the immersion? I do not think so. In fact, when you receive a powerful attack, the impact goes beyond the shield and is transmitted to your hands and body, and if it is excessive, I think it is true that the character falls backwards. The creators of Valor seem to have had the same thought. Because he gave the enemy an unblockable perilous attack, which made the NPC attack you unblockable. In fact, you shouldn't let go of tension when doing combat. But, if you always hold down the right mouse button, your character was safe even if you fell asleep for 10 minutes. At least that was the case for melee combat. Now is the time to move away from the conventional simple combat. 
Please make this happen through Valor mod. It seems to be the key to how well the creator controls bugs. But it's true that Valor mods attempt to change the core mechanics of Skyrim's combat, so it's probably true that 2023 will be a mod to pay attention for. The fourth mod to introduce is SBE Sneak Behavior Extensions. It's a mod introduced a while ago. This mod adds crawling function to Skyrim along with dive motion. It only applies to the player's character, and seems to have a functional effect as well, seeing as enemies have a harder time spotting you when crawling than with a normal sneak. But aside from all of these points, there are other reasons why we need to chose this mod. That is, the SBE mod expands the way your character behaves. Previously, the player's stealth method was the only option called Sneak. You can change the Sneak animation through various animation mods, but in the end, you probably had no other choice than Sneak. However, SBE adds a second option to Skyrim, called Crawling, in addition to Sneak. This is the key point and innovation. You now have the choice of either sneak or crawling when you're in a situation where you need to hide. It is no longer necessary to stick to the sneak. Sneak allows you to move faster. However, the character's collision is greater than in the crawling state, and the risk of being noticed by enemies is higher. Crawling has the downside of being slower than sneak, but on the other hand, it is least likely to be detected by enemies, and if applied to the character to the lowest collision state, it can be a solution to avoid various obstacles or escape from traps. Therefore, the SBE mode, which expands this behavior, also needs attention in 2023. The last mod to introduce is Accuracy Precise Projectile Collisions. Accuracy is a mod that matches Skyrim Actor's meshes with actual collision chunks. In fact, the Skyrim Actor's collision did not exactly match the Actor's meshes. This problem becomes more apparent when you use ranged attacks. You'd think you hit an enemy in the head or hand, etc. with precision, but there have been times when your ranged attacks have missed. The reason is that your ranged attack hits the enemy's mesh, but it doesn't hit the collision, so the attack misses. Accuracy minimizes this inconsistency between the mesh and the collision chunk. With accuracy, your targeted attacks will now be judged accurately, reducing your anxiety that your attacks might miss. Skyrim has not only melee combat, but also various ranged combat, and considering this, accuracy is a great mod that solves important factors. Therefore, we need to keep an eye on accuracy in 2023. I will finish all the videos about must-have mods that are very likely to hit Skyrim in 2023. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes, and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.